Duocarmycin, Wikipedia article audio. The duocarmycins are members of a series of related natural products first isolated from Streptomyces bacteria in 1988. They are notable for their extreme cytotoxicity and thus represent a class of exceptionally potent anti-tumor antibiotics. As small molecule, synthetic, DNA minor groove binding alkylating agents, duocarmycins are suitable to target solid tumors. They bind to the minor groove of DNA and alkylate the nucleobase adenine at the N3 position. The irreversible alkylation of DNA disrupts the nucleic acid architecture, which eventually leads to tumor cell death. Analogues of naturally occurring anti-tumor agents, such as duocarmycins, represent a new class of highly potent antineoplastic compounds. Biological Activity Duocarmycin Analogues vs. Tubulin Binders The work of Dale L. Boger and others created a better understanding of the pharmacophore and mechanism of action of the duocarmycins. This research has led to synthetic analogues including adoslacin, bislacin, and carslacin which progressed into clinical trials for the treatment of cancer. Similar research that Boger utilized for comparison to his results involving elimination of cancerous tumors and antigens was centered around the use of similar immunoconjugates that were introduced to cancerous colon cells. These studies related to Boger's research involving antigen specificity that is necessary to the success of the duocarmycins as anti-tumor treatments. The duocarmycin analogues are able to exert their mode of action at any phase in the cellular cycle, whereas tubulin binders will only attack tumor cells when they are in a mitotic state. Growing evidence suggests that DNA-damaging agents, such as duocarmycins, are more efficacious in tumor cell killing than tubulin binders, particularly in case of solid tumors. They have shown activity in a variety of multidrug resistant models. Agents that are part of this class of duocarmycins have the potency in the low picomolar range. This makes them suitable for maximizing the cell-killing potency of antibody drug conjugates to which they are attached. Another important benefit is that, unlike other drug classes, duocarmycins can be effective against tumor cells that are multidrug resistant. For example, potent cytotoxicity has been demonstrated in cells that express the peak lycoprotein efflux pump. Multi-drug resistance presents a significant problem in the clinical setting and agents that are less susceptible to these mechanisms can successfully be used in prolonged treatment protocols. Duocarmycin A Duocarmycin B1 Duocarmycin B2 Duocarmycins Duocarmycin C1 Duocarmycin C2 Antibody drug conjugates Duocarmycin D Duocarmycin SA CC1065 Synthetic analogues The DNA modifying agents such as duocarmycin are being used in the development of antibody drug conjugate or ADCs. Scientists at the Netherlands-based Synthen have combined a unique linkers with duocarmycin derivatives that have a hydroxyl group which is crucial for biological activity. Using this technology scientists aims to create ADCs having an optimal therapeutic window, balancing the effect of potent cell-killing agents on tumor cells versus healthy cells. Adoslacin the synthetic analogues of duocarmycins include adoslacin, bislacin, and carslacin. As members of the cyclopropylpyroloindole family, these investigational drugs have progressed into clinical trials for the treatment of cancer. Bislacin 
Adoslysin is an alkylating minor groove DNA binder that is capable of rapidly inhibiting DNA replication in treated cells through a transacting mechanism and preferentially arrests cells in S phase. It has been shown previously that in cells treated with adoslysin, replication protein A activity is deficient, and the middle subunit of RPA is hyperphosphorylated. The adoslysin-induced RPA hyperphosphorylation can be blocked by the replicative DNA polymerase inhibitor, aphidocholin, suggesting that adoslysin-triggered cellular DNA damage responses require active DNA replication forks. These data imply that cellular DNA damage responses to adoslysin treatment are preferentially induced in S phase. Bislysin is antineoplastic antibiotic which binds to the minor groove of DNA and induces interstrand cross-linking of DNA, thereby inhibiting DNA replication and RNA synthesis. Bislysin also enhances P53 and P21 induction and triggers G2-M cell cycle arrest, resulting in cell senescence without apoptosis. Carslysin Adoslysin and bislysin cause genomic DNA lesions by alkylating DNA. Adoslysin induces single-strand DNA lesions, whereas bislysin induces both single-strand lesions and double-strand DNA cross-links. At equivalent cytotoxic concentrations, these agents caused different biological responses. Low adoslysin concentrations induced a transient S phase block and cell cycle arrest in GM, as well as increased induction of P53 and P21, whereas a high drug concentration caused apoptosis but no P21 induction. In contrast, both low and high bislysin concentrations enhanced P53 and P21 induction and triggered GM cell cycle arrest and eventual senescence without significant apoptotic cell death. However, in cells lacking P21, bislysin, as well as adoslysin, triggered apoptosis, indicating that P21 was crucial to sustained bislysin induced GM arrest. Despite similar abilities to alkylate DNA, adoslysin and bislysin caused a decrease in HCT116 tumor cell proliferation by different pathways. Carslysin is a cyclopropyl pyroloindole prodrug containing a relatively non-reactive chloromethyl precursor to the cyclopropyl function. Activation of carslysin requires two steps hydrolysis of a phenylurethane substituent to form mu 76073 followed by ring closure to form the cyclopropyl containing DNA reactive U76074. The formation of the DNA reactive U76074, via U76073, from carslysin was shown to proceed very slowly in phosphate buffered saline but to occur rapidly in plasma from mouse, rat, dog, and human and in cell culture medium. Although carslysin was less potent in terms of in vitro cytotoxicity and in vivo optimal dosage and showed low affinity for binding to DNA, it was therapeutically more efficacious against mouse L1210 leukemia than was U76074 or adoslysin, another cyclopropyl pyroloindole analog which is currently in phase I clinical trials. Carslysin also proved to be more efficacious than U76074 or adoslysin against mouse pancreatic ductal 02 adenocarcinoma a system reported to be resistant to every agent tested. Carslysin was highly effective against this tumor and produced 97% tumor growth inhibition. In addition, IV-administered carslysin showed significant activity against IV or SC-implanted Lewis lung carcinoma IP, or SC-implanted B16 melanoma, SC-implanted colon 38 carcinoma and 5SC implanted human tumor xenografts, including clear cell KK1 carcinoma, 
colon CX1 adenocarcinoma, lung LX1 tumor, ovarian 2780 carcinoma, and prostatic DU145 carcinoma. Carslacin treatment produced 100% complete remissions in mice bearing early stage human ovarian 2780. Pharmacologically, Carslacin proved to be relatively schedule and root independent and was highly active against IP implanted L1210 leukemia, regardless of whether the analog was given IV, IP, SC, or PO. These results, collectively, suggest that carslacin is absorbed and distributed well. Both carslacin and adoslacin caused marked tumor shrinkage in mice-bearing human lung LX1 or advanced stage human ovarian 2780 carcinoma, however, tumor regrowth occurred shortly after the treatment with adoslacin was stopped. Little or no apparent tumor regrowth occurred after treatment with carslacin.